some employees at Albany Med calling for better training now and mm -hmm. more security measures in light of what happened. Our Skylar Eagle is live at Albany Medical Center this morning with the latest on that side of the story for us. Skylar. Ryan, Christina, the lockdown here at Albany Medical Center left many on edge over the last couple of days and some nurses are now calling for better protection to make sure something like this can't happen again. The questions come as police revealed 61 year old Dino Savoca allegedly had a BB gun and another gun while he barricaded himself inside his mother's hospital room. The in incident leaving some with questions on how the suspect was able to bring weapons into the hospital. Nurses who work at Albany Medical Center claim there has never been training for these situations and say they want to see the hospital hold evacuation drills, install metal detectors and have a police substation to help keep patients and staff safer. I have requested that we have mandatory um, active shooter drills in the hospital on a regular basis and that all staff be made to attend so that we're not caught not knowing what to do in this situation. And it's, it can be very scary sometimes when you have um, a violent partner or somebody in the family that wants to go after a patient and you're caring for that patient. And that's, you know, that's what's going on. The New York State Nurses Association also commenting on the hospital's response to the lockdown, saying the hospital has failed to consider their proposals for active shooter drills and metal detectors. The police department and hospital officials are standing by their response to Monday's lockdown. We also know that hospital administration met yesterday afternoon to debrief on their response and possible actions to take moving forward. We'll have the latest for you on air and online. For now, live in Albany, Skyther Eagle News 10, ABC.